10 Life-Changing Questions to Ask Yourself If You Are Poor A man who has tasted both poverty and wealth knows that happiness isn't tied to wealth, but with money comes financial freedom and comfort. And if they were asked to choose, irrespective of what happiness is tied to or not, they'll always opt for wealth. I mean, who wouldn't? People are mostly poor because of some wrong choices and other times because they refuse to challenge themselves to dream big and take actions that can help them achieve their goals. And with poverty comes frustration. To overcome poverty, however, there are certain life-changing questions you should ask yourself. In this video, I'll share with you 10 life-changing questions to ask yourself if you're poor. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. What am I grateful for? Nearly every one of us constantly lives life trying to make more money, achieve things, and accomplish our goals. That we often forget to be grateful for the things that we have going on for us. We forget about the things we once worked so hard to get that we no longer see the need to be thankful that we now have something we once wished for. Gratitude is one of the keys to a truly happy life, and it does not mean that one should become complacent and accept the situation we are in at the moment. It only means that we should appreciate the life we now have, even though it is not what we want it to be yet. Being thankful helps feel great and positive about life, and when we feel that way, it becomes easy to think and develop habits that help us build wealth that we so much desire. Asking yourself what you're grateful for will give you a dose of optimism and make you realize that life isn't as bad as you think it is. If you think you don't have anything to be grateful for, start by being thankful for your health, for food, shelter, loved ones, and a happy family. Also, even if you don't like your current job, house, or your car, you still choose to be thankful that you have them. 2. Where do I find myself in the next one? two, five, and even ten years. Yes, it is quite impossible to predict your future or to predict what your life will be like in the next one year or two years or even ten years. However, you can set your goals, both short and long-term goals, and action plans to help you achieve those goals in the next one, two, or ten years. Bill Copeland, an American poet, writer, and historian said, the trouble with not having a goal is that you can spend your life running up and down the field and never score. When you don't set goals and plans, you'll accept whatever life throws at you, one of which is poverty, because your life will be without a destination or a direction. You'll live aimlessly. Asking yourself this question, however, will help you decide what you want to achieve in life, including your career, finance, health, family, and the likes. 3. Why do I want the things I want? What is your reason for chasing your dream? Why do you want the things that you are after? If your dream is to become the CEO of your organization, why do you want it? What will becoming a CEO do for you? Do you want it because of the associated status or because the CEO's salary will allow you to give your family a better life? You see, when you know the reason why you do the things that you do or the reason why you want the things that you want, it will determine the pace at which you'll go and the extent to which you'll go to get it. If you only want those things for the sake of show off, you'll end up giving up before you make it halfway into the journey. The truth is, achieving your goals isn't easy. You'll face challenges that will make you feel like giving up. So, you need a clear picture of your goal or dream to commit to it. 4. What will I do if I wasn't afraid of anything? Asking yourself this question and pondering on it helps you realize the things that are important to you. It helps you see where your fears lie and most importantly, it helps you see beyond your fears and how you can achieve your goals. Most of us go through life holding back because of fear of one thing or the other. Fear that we will be rejected. Fear that we will fail. However, if you weren't so afraid of that thing, what will you do? Figure it out and go for it. 5. Am I investing into positive relationships? Sometimes we are unhappy, not because we are poor and do not have money. 
but because we fail to invest in positive relationships and people who will motivate us to keep moving when the road gets rough or people you'd like to share your time and your life with. The truth is that even if a man succeeded in work, amassed piles of money and experienced good health without loving relationships, he wouldn't be happy. So start investing in positive relationships today. 6. What has your biggest mistake been? Asking yourself what your biggest mistake has been will help you realize if you are one to learn from your mistakes or ignore them like nothing ever happened. It's not just knowing your mistakes that matter, it's about retracing your steps and finding out if you learned from that mistake and how you've improved your life since the time. Knowing this will strengthen your character and help you develop habits that can help you achieve your life's goal. 7. Am I creating value for people? Creating wealth is about creating value. You become successful by creating value and helping people. You see, the more people you help, the more money you make. So, ask yourself, am I creating anything that can be valuable to people? Can I help people solve a problem? Am I spending my life providing nothing useful to the people around me? These questions will give you insight into how you've been spending your life and how you can make it better by being useful to people around you. 8. Do I care more about how my life looks or how it feels? When you focus so much on how people look at you or what they perceive you to be, you end up living for them. You begin to prioritize looking perfect in place of feeling good. Don't live to impress people or portray the best or perfect life possible as most people do on the internet because it will never make you feel good about yourself and sooner than later, you'll begin to spend the money that you don't have to impress the people that don't even care. Spending beyond your means to impress the masses can lead to a life of debt. Apart from setting you up for a life of debt, living a life where you care more about how your life looks can lead to lack of joy and contentment. 9. Does my present lifestyle promote physical, spiritual, and mental well-being? A healthy lifestyle should focus not only on your physical well-being, but also on your mental and spiritual well-being. It is impossible to have overall well-being when one part of these isn't healthy. You need to make choices that will allow you to live a healthy life as you channel your energy into paying attention to your physical, spiritual, and mental well-being. 10. What will be my biggest regret if I die tomorrow? If you are to die tomorrow, I'm pretty sure your biggest concern won't be where you live or where you work, the car you drive or the kind of house you live in. Instead, it will be regretting the fact that you let your fear hold you down and stop you from achieving your goals, amongst a few other things. Asking yourself this question gives you a sober reminder of what you should be doing with your life today. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.